Hello and welcome back to Holly Light Builds. As someone who loves both LEGO and video games, I'm greatly interested whenever LEGO releases a theme centred around the existing video game franchise. So, I've ranked these themes based on the quality of their sets, their value for money, and how well their iconic gaming characters and locations have been transferred into their LEGO counterparts to produce a list of my top 5 LEGO themes based on video games. First up in spot 5 is LEGO Mario, which in my opinion is definitely one of the more disappointing LEGO themes. Launching in August 2020 after being teased on Mario Day, the theme centres around a battery-powered Mario figure, which is exclusively available in the $60 starter pack set. Since then, Luigi and Peach starter pack variants have been produced. Players can combine their starter pack with other sets to create custom corsets, challenging themselves to fully utilise the functions of the different pieces and collect as many coins as possible before the 60 second timer runs out. These unique figures have light up eyes and chests, and produce sounds and reactions as the player completes their courses. Further characters including Toad, Bowser and Yoshi are included in sets as creative brick built characters. Even as someone who dislikes the theme as a whole, I can admit that these are really cool. And I'll definitely be picking up the new 2024 Yoshi set. However, I believe that LEGO Mario's focus on technology heavily limits the theme. The over-reliance on the starter set creates a $60 price requirement to be able to properly experience the main functions of the theme, and a lot of the smaller sets are basically just $10 costume power-ups that are useless without the main Mario figure. Unlike in other themes, where $10 can buy a complete, fully functioning LEGO set. I'm also kind of concerned about how long these figures will last, because if, for whatever reason, the electronic functions naturally stop working in about 10 or 15 years time, LEGO Mario fans will only have these possessed pieces of plastic to remember the theme by. The scale of these figures is also completely unique to LEGO Mario, which is fine if this is the only LEGO theme that you collect, but it would be great to have the option to play with and display LEGO Mario alongside other LEGO themes that have been universally created in minifigure scale. So although the theme has some positive aspects thanks to the creative work of its talented designers, I really do think that the current LEGO Mario system has quite literally ran its course. It's no coincidence that I'm constantly seeing the sets on sale. It's because I'm not alone in wanting minifigure scale Mario sets. But, nearly four years on from LEGO Mario's launch, assembling my own minifigure Smash Bros roster still feels like a pipe dream. Next up at number four is LEGO Overwatch, which released a total of nine sets in 2019. I have to be honest, I've never actually played Overwatch, but I was really excited about the theme at the time, particularly for its 13 new minifigures, nine of which having an incredible newly moulded hair or helmet piece, and two big figs. The Overwatch 2 Titan, set 76980, was scheduled for a 2022 release. However, when allegations were made against Blizzard, the developers of Overwatch, LEGO promptly ended the partnership, and this set was cancelled alongside others. Despite this, some copies of the Titan set had already been shipped to stores, and some fortunate LEGO fans managed to pick up this set at retail value. Sonic the Hedgehog was a huge part of my childhood, so I was insanely hyped when we finally got a proper wave of five LEGO Sonic sets in 2023 following on from the 2016 Dimensions level pack and the 2022 LEGO Ideas set. Honestly, this range had me at LEGO Tales, but Wave 1 also provided figures of Sonic, Amy and Dr. Eggman, with Wave 2 introducing Shadow, Rouge and Knuckles. The sets also include Flickies and other animals, as well as brick-built robotic henchmen for Eggman, such as Cubots, Rhinobot, Motobug and Kiki. LEGO have also released brick heads for Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Shadow. I absolutely love the colour schemes of the Sonic sets, particularly the combination of the reddish-brown and medium nougat coloured bricks to replicate the iconic colour palette of Green Hill Zone. My only criticism is that I think Wave 1 was quite overpriced, but I do think that Wave 2 resolved this with more appropriate pricing. I'm really excited about the future of this theme, and seeing LEGO Sonic sets on toy store shelves is really a dream come true for myself and so many others. Despite only releasing its first wave in March this year, LEGO Animal Crossing has secured second place on my list. The range consists of five sets and a poly bag featuring an exclusive maple minifigure. The sets have a total of eight minifigures, Isabel, Tom Nook, Capin, Rosie, Fauna, Marshall, Bunny and Julian, all with amazing individually moulded heads. Since Animal Crossing has hundreds of villagers and NPCs, there are no shortage of potential animal minifigures for future waves, but I'm curious to see whether or not LEGO will introduce human players into the sets. Wave 1's sets are a mix of small open back buildings, such as Nook's Cranny and the two customisable villager houses, and Animal Crossing terrain with the iconic trees from the games. The sets can also be connected via open studs. 
Lego did an amazing job at printing new pieces for the theme, such as the Nook Phone, Bell Bag and KK Slider album covers. The range is also impressively affordable, with the five sets ranging from 15 to 75 US dollars, and its reasonable pricing is one of the reasons why I ranked it above Lego Sonic. I also love that LEGO went to the effort of producing regional Japanese box arts for the sets, tailoring them towards the Japanese market. As someone who grew up playing Animal Crossing and collecting LEGO, I'm not even kidding when I say that as a child I listed out my ideas for at least 10 Animal Crossing LEGO minifigure series. I'm beyond excited for the future of this theme, and I can't thank LEGO and Nintendo enough for this beautiful collaboration. I just wanted to give a few honourable mentions to some of LEGO's video game partnerships that don't technically qualify as fully fledged themes, such as the stunning Horizon Toolneck, the nostalgic Atari 2600, and the LEGO Icons Pac-Man Arcade. I also feel the need to mention the LEGO Fortnite game mode that was introduced in 2023 to the main Fortnite game. It features newly designed minifigure skins of a range of Fortnite characters, alongside figures of Fortnite variants of characters from franchises that LEGO have already had partnerships with, such as Star Wars, Marvel and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their own original themes such as Ninjago, as well as new figures from new licenses, such as Free Guy, Mr Beast, Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. Although at time of recording, we haven't received any physical LEGO Fortnite sets other than a promotional llama poly bag, there are a great deal of rumours surrounding the possibility of LEGO releasing a range of Fortnite sets in the near future. Amidst the speculation, one thing remains certain. LEGO's expensive partnership with Epic Games is unlike anything that we've seen them do before, and I for one am really excited about the future of this collaboration. Before I reveal my first place discontinued LEGO theme based on a video game, don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video so far and consider subscribing for more LEGO content. I'm sure it's no surprise that LEGO Minecraft has topped my list at number 1. The first LEGO Minecraft set was successfully submitted by Mojang to the LEGO Kuso platform, now known as LEGO Ideas, and was made up of four detachable modular cubes. LEGO Minecraft then returned in 2013 for a full range of these micro world sets, before switching in 2014 to the minifigure scale sets that are known and loved by so many LEGO fans today. Considering the fact that LEGO Minecraft has been consistently releasing sets for over a decade, LEGO have done a great job at maintaining the quality and hype surrounding the theme through the variety of sets, such as the sub-themes of Brickheads and Big Figs, as well as the trend of releasing buildings shaped like Minecraft animals. It definitely helps that LEGO Minecraft is such an open theme. Unlike IPs such as Star Wars and Harry Potter, there isn't a finite amount of source material or movies. The Minecraft game regularly receives new updates, animals and skins to serve as inspiration for LEGO's sets. The sets themselves also offer great value and affordability, especially because LEGO have been releasing a $10 Minecraft set with four characters each year since 2020. We've also had lots of Minecraft polybags, some blister packs and, since 2021, a regular European magazine. It seems safe to assume that LEGO Minecraft is sticking around for the foreseeable future, and it makes perfect sense. Both LEGO and Minecraft encourage creativity and collaboration, and are both loved by kids and adults alike. So this craft is a partnership that's stronger than Obsidian. Since finishing this video, we have since received official reveals for the second wave of LEGO Animal Crossing and wave of LEGO Sonic, as well as the much-anticipated LEGO Legend of Zelda 2-in-1 Great Deku Tree set which contains four minifigures and will retail for $300. And so, that brings this list to an end. Regardless of whether you prefer to spend your time jumping on Goombas, battling the Ender Dragon, or getting into crippling depth to a raccoon in a Hawaiian shirt, I think that we can all agree that more LEGO video game sets are a welcome addition. Did you agree with my ranking? And what video games would you like to see LEGO sets of next? As always, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, bye!